That's a great way to go. If you're looking at structure, this is uh, about as good as it can possibly be. I mean, you just look at this, who's got anything like this? Nobody. There's very few companies or examples of subsystems like this where we're seeing this much cross-functional integration. Yeah. And that's outstanding. I'm really impressed. Every time I see something, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Tesla, uh, they're leaving everybody else in the dust. Oh my goodness, what is that? So smart. You know, the integration on these cars is just to die for. And man, what a, what a packaging uh, symphony. Who's got anything like this? Nobody. So I'm, I'm, very, uh, I'm very impressed, hugely impressed. To make this stuff happen, you've got to have a different kind of a culture. And they've obviously, um, they've obviously figured it out over there. In this video, well, you saw the intro, right? Gotta be watching some highlights of Sandy Munro and the crew over at Munro and Associates tearing down Tesla's Plaid Model S and spoiler alert, they're nutting left, right and center. This video will give Tesla stock investors and engineering nerds some great insight into where Tesla is at with their engineering versus other automotive manufacturers. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, there's a bunch of ways you can support the channel, access exclusive content and perks and get some free stocks and crypto. Check out the links in the pinned comment below. You can get two free stocks with Weeble a free stock with stake, free Bitcoin with Coinbase and free Bitcoin with BlockFi and the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card. You can also pick up some Tesla, Elon and investment themed merch in the merch store. If you want to take it to the next level, join thousands of members on Patreon to gain exclusive access to over 100 Q&A videos, loads of exclusive content, exclusive access to my up to date 10 year Tesla stock price targets and even access my Tesla valuation model at the investor support level and above. So check out the links in the pinned comment below and thanks for your support. That's a great way to go. If you're looking at structure, this is uh, about as good as it can possibly be. I'm, I'm really impressed with these, the, the number of castings that we're seeing now uh, out of Tesla. Uh, they're leaving everybody else in the dust when it comes to the amount of cast materials that there are inside of uh, inside these vehicles. I'll try not to interrupt too much here. I've cut down more than an hour of teardown into about five or 10 minutes, but I just wanted to note two things that Sandy Munro has already said. Let's start small. Sandy Munro saying that he's really impressed and also noting that Tesla is leaving everyone in the dust. Words matter, especially when they're coming from someone like Sandy Munro who understands automotive engineering so well. And ultimately all it does is help you because you're getting rid of so many extra bits and pieces that you don't need. Right. The one thing that I am kind of hmm, interested or, or it's kind of like so different and I've never seen anybody really doing it. This is a really tight build um, and that's good from a space uh, utilization standpoint. For me, this is kind of like a really good idea. Then hang on. Is this... Are you sure we don't pull this out? Hang on, let me see. Ooh, whoa, nice. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what is that? Bit of a recurring theme in the clips we just saw. Surprise at the way Tesla engineers have solved certain problems. Sandy Munro explicitly saying he's never seen that done before. And we also just saw the reaction. Major surprise. Tesla clearly not happy to do things by the book. This could mean that Tesla engineers are idiots and the things that they make suck because they're not following convention. Or it's possible, on the other side, maybe they're doing things differently and better. Let's find out. I'm just kidding. We all know where this is going. Of course they're doing things better. I think they integrated the air tank into the cross carbine. It looks like a sideways uh, Jaguar engine. Oh, oh, there we go. There we are. Okay, there's one. <coughs> well, so this is the, the air tank for the air suspension integrated mm. into a structural member. Cool. So smart. You know, the integration on these cars is just to die for. I mean, uh, to do this, you'd have to have the suspension guys, the hydraulics, pneumatics and hydraulics guys, the electronics guys, the structural guys, because this is also a cross car beam. Well, everybody would have to be involved in every decision. And by the way, boys and girls, this is the first time we're looking at it. We did not know that we were going to find that. You can see now that it's got an air suspension system, but you can see that they really spent some time and effort on these A-arms. This, uh, this is going to be a lot of fun to get into. This, this thing here, just you saw it. It was just perfectly covered. 
everything, everything about that, um, that look to me says, I know what I'm doing. I've spent some time making sure that everything is as right as it can be. Th that's what an engineer should do. When, when, you're, when you're an engineer and you're working on a car, it's like um, you're creating a baby. It becomes your baby. And, and you want to have your baby cute as you can possibly get it. And I thought that that clean look under the hood here was uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely wonderful. More extremely high praise here. Absolutely wonderful. So smart. The integration is to die for. Sandy Munro also pointing out that to see such collaboration, such integration between different engineers working on very different systems and components of the vehicle, Sandy Munro not only blown away by the engineering itself, but really these comments are a statement about Tesla's DNA as a company. You just won't see this happening in other automotive manufacturers. The actual engineering of these vehicles is a physical manifestation of the cultural differences, the difference in DNA DNA between Tesla and legacy automotive manufacturers. In fact, this clip from Munro tearing down some of Tesla's so-called competition will make my point quite clearly. If you look at the back, because this is a heat pump system, the lines run in an exact straight line. Um, when comparing and contrasting to the Ford Mustang Mach-E, you'll notice that the lines are not nearly as concise. So Ben, do you want to go ahead and grab the first component to compare and we can talk through the differences? All right, well, first we're going to grab all the lines that the Maki has, which is, as you can see, a whole bunch of lines when compared to what the Tesla Model Y had. There's actually 35 different hoses here, uh, which is a very large number uh, when looking at the thermal system. Look at the weight just in the fluid, just in the fluid. You aren't going to get range if you can't get rid of weight. And I need efficiency when it comes to wiring and, and plumbing. This is where things start to fall apart on the Mach-E. But bear in mind, this is the second best product that we've looked at. That's ponderous, isn't it? This is better than everything else that we've seen apart from Tesla. This is better than everybody else. Need I say more? And now back to the teardown of the Model S Plaid. Uh, it's compact anyways. That's the thing that, that, I, that I'm looking at. You know, this is a really, it's definitely uh, filled with stuff, but everything seems to be put in a, a spot that gives you the impression that this has been engineered and not just tossed together. Okay, so we've taken off the, the first, uh, the first uh, little beauty color covers here and and we're already kind of impressed overall they changed a lot if you were to look at the uh, the original model s in comparison to this one you wouldn't even think they were off the same vehicle and man what a what a packaging uh symphony that is a strong statement what a packaging symphony like yeah. all the things that are going in here the coolant lines, the PIA or part and assembly inverters, two separate motors, two mirrored gearboxes, all encapsulated in that structure. It may just kind of look simple or cool, but it is. There's a lot of engineering and cross-functional teams that I would <clears throat> bet every last dollar spent a lot of time going through, making sure that every line had its home, making sure that where needed, right? local application of abrasion wrap um, is applied and everything looks really tight. It looks tight and it looks engineered. And again, people have asked, uh, asked me about the, uh, the Model S Plaid and is it really what it is, uh, you know, what, what it's claiming to be. And I mean, you just look at this, who's got anything like this? Nobody. So I'm, I'm, very, uh, I'm very impressed, hugely impressed with what I've seen and heard. I, I think it is almost an entirely new generation of vehicle. I think they are leaps and bounds where they were on the first one. And I think that uh, they've done a lot of things to really establish themselves as a legitimate automotive OEM. And then in some cases beyond that, right? There's very few companies or examples of subsystems like this where we're seeing this much cross-functional integration. Yeah. And that's outstanding. I think basically that um, what we're looking at is, um, <clears throat> is a culture that is, uh, nobody else has. Yeah. I mean, I worked uh, for almost every big OEM on the planet. And, um, and I can tell you, it doesn't matter whether you're in Germany or Japan or 
or here in the United States, cranking out something like this where you're crossing party lines continuously. I mean, at the end of the day, everything's politics inside of, a, inside of an engineering department. And when you start moving away from I'm in structures and I'm in uh, uh, pneumatics or hydraulics and I want this and you want that, and it's nothing but one argument after another. When you look at this, like you said, a symphony, this is, this is, uh, this is truly a good way to, to put it. I mean, to make this stuff happen, you've got to have a different kind of a culture. And they've obviously, um, they've obviously figured it out over there because the guy that has this job and that job is not the guy that's got this job or that job. So we're looking here at uh, people that have to work together. And I don't know how they blend them. I don't know how they make them together. I've never had the opportunity to go inside of, uh, inside of the inner workings of, uh, of Tesla. So, but I'm, I'm really impressed. Every time I see something, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. What an incredibly strong statement. Every time I see something, I'm impressed. Sandy's words, not mine. Let me know in the comments below if you're an engineering nerd or you own Tesla stock or both. I'm really curious to know who's watching this video. I think most of the folks watching will understand that Tesla's engineering really is on another level. But I don't believe this is something that most people out in the world understand, whether we're talking about consumers or retail stock investors. As I said earlier in this video, the engineering, the physical engineering, the design of Tesla's products, their manufacturing systems, is a manifestation of the company and their culture. We are seeing products, solutions, engineering that we're not seeing anywhere else. Not only is Tesla's engineering impressive, it's unique. They're innovating and inventing new ways of doing things. They're extremely resourceful and people aren't appreciating this. When you manufacture things, when you make physical products, millions of physical products every single year with many thousands of processes involved, the brilliant engineering engineering, and that includes of the manufacturing systems, not just the products themselves, can make all the difference between total dominance and extinction. We're seeing some very strong signs from the engineering point of view, under the hood, literally, that Tesla is on a whole other level. In fact, they're in a whole other fucking dimension. And one final thought, from a Tesla stock investor's point of view, if you think what Tesla's doing today is impressive in terms of their engineering, and from the financial point of view, even though they're at a fairly small scale at this point in time, they're making industry leading profit margins already. They're manufacturing vehicles, say three times faster than BW can manufacture a similar vehicle. This is a fact. This is how far ahead of the competition Tesla are in terms of engineering, which is the most fundamental thing in terms of what matters to Tesla's business. It's the engineering, and not just of physical products, but also of software. If this is how far ahead Tesla already is today, just think what the next few years and decades look like. And can we all just take a moment to appreciate Munro Live, Munro and Associates, Sandy Munro, and the entire crew for the awesome teardowns providing Tesla stock investors and engineering nerds incredible insights. Links to all the source videos are in the description. I recommend everybody watching. Check out the full Plaid Model S teardown series. And finally, if you'd like to support the channel and you're not already on Patreon, sign up with the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment. You'll gain access to a ton of exclusive content, over 100 Q&A videos, where I share my uncensored thoughts on a huge range of topics, plus, of course, a little bit more insight around Tesla and investing. There's plenty of perks and other content over there as well, including exclusive access to my Tesla stock price targets. So sign up to Patreon using the link in the pinned comment to support the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem and I love you all. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, there's a bunch of ways you can support the channel, access exclusive content and perks, and get some free stocks and crypto. Check out the links in the pinned comment below. You can get two free stocks with Weeble, a free stock with Stake, free Bitcoin with Coinbase, and free Bitcoin with BlockFi, and the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card. You can also pick up some Tesla, Elon, and investment themed merch in the merch store. If you want to take it to the next level, join thousands of members on Patreon to gain exclusive access to over 100 Q&A videos, loads of exclusive content, exclusive access to my up-to-date 10-year Tesla stock price targets, and even access my Tesla valuation model at the investor support level and above. So check out the links in the pinned comment below, and thanks for your support. And if you're still watching, you're awesome. I read every single comment on this channel, and I really appreciate your feedback. So if you've got any thoughts on today's video, questions, comments, or suggestions for a new video, let me know in the comments below. Check the cards on screen now to browse the merch store, join Patreon, or watch the next video.